Hey guys, welcome back to another video for DKCGI.net. In this last video, I'm gonna go ahead and just explain a bit about loft and what's left out. In the previous two videos, we've explained all about loft and the only thing that's left right now is that I'm simply gonna try and build upon the last uh, lesson where we did the road. So, as you can see on this, in this scene right now, I have one simple line that's supposed to be representing the road. And we have here another profile for the road. The only thing that's kind of different about this uh, scene from the previous one is that in this scene, the road is at an angle. As you can see, we have the road going upwards from the bottom. So, I'm going to start from the beginning. So, I'm going to select the line that's uh, basically the road line and then go into create, go into compound objects here, select the loft. And now with the line selected, I'm going to click on get shape. Here we go. And I'm going to select the shape for the road or the road profile. Right away, I'm getting a road-like structure stretching from the bottom going through uh, to the top. Now, what can we do here? Like we mentioned in the previous video, first thing you want to do is check out and see how the, the parameters are done for the road. That means we're going to go and check the scheme parameters and you're right here as the path steps so if we give it more path steps it's gonna look more fluent and it's not gonna have any more uh, any more breakups in the form of the road so basically the more path steps we have the more fluent the whole shape is going to run and right here as basically I can just click on the optimize and just like as you can see on the edges if we have the optimize it kind of removes the extra edges that are not needed so it optimizes it so i can either leave it on or take it off doesn't really matter so the reason why this video is i actually decided to make it is because i want to mention one more of the option that options that uh, loft has and that's the option to actually bank the road for example if you see it right here it says banking if you click on it you're gonna uh, notice something right away for example I'm gonna press F4 to get out of edge faces there you go no edges so if banking is turned on we can see that there is a slight shift in the road like you have a bit of a banking or curvature going on the road which is kind of normal because if you have a road or an actual road whenever a road is going upwards or downwards when it comes to the apexes of the turn it kind of bends a bit so this banking is trying to simulate that now in this uh, particular example we can't see that all that uh, good so what do we do to actually make it better or ev get even uh, more control over where the banking is happening well in order to, co uh, to control where that banking is going to happen i'm going to actually turn off banking and then go in the bottom or where it says there we go no actually we have to go into the modify and then we go at deformations so in modify and deformation we're going to turn on the twist we're going to click on the button that says twist like like so as we click it we get a new window pop up what is what does this window mean well if we like make it a bit bigger now just uh, go zoom in a bit what this is going to allow me is 
if I choose one of those spots over here, as you can see, there is like zero to 100. That's the entire line. And you have little uh, numbers on the side going from ranging from zero to 110 over here, minus 110. But if we like zoom out, we're gonna see that we can go far beyond. So depending on how zoomed in we are, we get to see how uh, many of those lines are um, visible. So what do they actually represent? Well, for example, if I take the last dot over here, or the last vertex that stands on the 100 percentile, and I just move it up a bit. Let's say I move it up to eh, like over here, 70. We can see that the entire road is kind of going from being flat to gradually moving and basically bending or twisting until it comes to the 80% twist at the end. Now, this would be okay if we were making some kind of a, a weird, wacky roller coaster, but for a road, not so much. So we're gonna have to do some tweaking to the road if we wanna get it to the shape we want it to look at, look like. So I'm going to go back to the twist or get it back, there we go. And I'm gonna click this uh, last vertex and here are two fields at the bottom. One says 100 and the second field says 73.919. The first one is the percentile, while the second one is the amount that has been given. So I've basically twisted it for 73% uh, 73 at the 100 percentile. So the end is twisted at 73. So if I put it at 100, it's gonna get even more twisted but for now i'm gonna give it, get it back to zero so we saw that what uh, we saw what was happening if we move those dots or vertices now let's see something else what do these lines represent we can see a bunch of dotted lines inside this range from zero to 100. what do they represent well those lines basically represent the shape or better yet they represent let me just select it they represent the spline or better yet they represent here these vertices so as we can see we have one two three four vertices inside defining how that road is going to move so now if i select this loft go inside and twist and we can see one two three four so we have four lines so that means that if i want my road to bank or uh, twist at those apexes or those end lines i'm going to have to uh, take click here where it says insert corner point and insert points uh, where those lines intersect with the red line it's going to put one over here another one over here one over here and one over here. Now, what I want to do is make the edges kind of twist at a certain angle. So I am basically want this one and this one to, uh, to twist at, what, uh, at one angle and the last two twist at a different angle. So I'm going to select this one here and then move it over here, like we said, this is the percentile at which the uh, vertex is uh, found. And this is how much is uh, the twist going to work on it. So I'm going to put here, let's say 15%. As we can see right away, the road over here kind of starts to twist. Now, for the second one over here, I want to make it negative 15. So it's going to bank in the other way. There we go. It's starting to bank. And well, let's exaggerate it a bit more. Instead of 15, I'm going to put it at 25. See how that is going to look? Yeah. We can see it better this way. We'll go 25 here as well. Now, 
here this is going to be the third vertice or this one over here so let's put it 25 on that one as well there we go and the next one goes at minus 25 and there we go now the road is twisting so it starts off over here and starts twisting when it comes to the corner now this is actually not so bad but the thing is it's okay for the road to kind of twist uh, twist when it gets to the corner but when it gets to the straight lines or the straight parts of the road we don't want to have this uh, twisting we want it to have, uh, we wanted the road to be straight and flat so how do we make that easy basically we have to insert a few more uh, corner uh, vertices to define that so I'm basically just gonna eyeball it and put one over here one over here and put one over here one over here and two more on this side two more on this side so I'm actually now going to select all of those uh, vertices I just created I'm gonna put them all on the zero with that all of those uh, straight lines are basically now a road and if we go back to the road we're gonna see that right here now the road is flat when it comes to the edges it kind of takes the curve then go straight then takes the curve go straight again now if we see here we're gonna notice that this uh, banking or this twist it's kind of too strong and we can probably even see it here there you go it looks like like our road is being broken up so how do we fix that well we're gonna go inside here back to the twist deformation and now I'm gonna select let's say the first vertice which is this one and right click on it and turn it into a Bezier smooth with that we can see right away that that breakup is gone now if I want to make it even uh, less see it, uh, less noticeable I'm just gonna play with the Bezier corners there we go Bezier lines until we get something that's more to our liking which at the moment I'm not getting but still right here we're not supposed to add so much twist because at this point basically the turn is too shallow and we don't need that banking so much but at this one we can probably get a much better result with that there we go and there we go and now I can simply just like put it here and make that transition more gradual so we don't have any breaker points like we have it here so if we use the same example on all those lines we can get a pretty good end result in which we can get a very realistic looking road and like we previously uh, mentioned in the video we can uh, add texture to this road for example just we have to go inside surface parameters click generate material IDs and if we put a texture on it like uh, I've put in the same texture like previously in the previous video it's basically this road like it's just like one road and if we apply it to the road and put it here there we go general material IDs now tiling should go in right and there we go we got the road uh, starting from the bottom going to the uh, end 
at the apexes it's going to take the turn but it, as you can see right here it hasn't been done properly but if we just like move the uh, these lines over here and make the transition gradual we're gonna nullify that effect and we're gonna end up with a road that's really good and we can use it for our scenes